My name's Claire Lindsay, I'm a paediatric continence advisor and I've been working with children who catheterise for about eight years. It doesn't usually take boys too long to become comfortable with the procedure. If they've been doing it from a very early age, their parents have been doing it for them and they gradually take over that technique themselves and learn the technique themselves. The discreetness of the packaging is really important, being able to um, discreetly put it in a pocket or take it in a school bag. Um, children are accessing mainstream schools and not necessarily have access to disabled toilets. I think patients will find the low fricker ego very accessible. It's a really lovely product. It's very discreet. You wouldn't really know what was inside it. It's very boy orientated. Um, doesn't look medical at all. From a health professional point of view, I do like the packaging on the back. You've got everything from the, um, the lot number um, and the reference code. You can take that off and stick it in patient's notes so we know exactly what catheters they're using. And also the fact that once it's activated, it's fairly instant. A lot of the other brands on the market, you have to wait sort of 10, 20 seconds and actually children just want to get on and do it um, as quickly as possible really. And it's this no-touch technique that I really like. We often have different people catheterising the children when they're younger and you don't have to touch the catheter tip at all. Once you've used the catheter, it's very easy to dispose of. Um, you've got a sticky bit on the back where you can actually stick it on the cistern or on the wall of the tube toilet cubicle. Now I think it'll go down very well with the young boys.